your small top 10 holdings is around 40%. Isn't that not a too small number? Well, it depends on how to, uh, you see it. It's not for everybody. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, but we are looking at, again, risk if we start there. If you look at number of holdings, the more number of holdings you have, if you have 300 stocks, you actually induce a top-down effect in it. You induce what happens in Greece today much more. Uh, and a lot of people like the index, for example, because it is broad. For us, we think, uh, frankly, that's crazy. Uh, we think we want to find the risks on specific companies. We try to identify them. We try to quantify them. And that's the way to invest. This is about getting paid for specific risks. So in the top 10, it's the same principle. We want very select opportunities. We're very disciplined in, in what we buy. And then we buy a lot of it on something we have identified. We believe that it will go our way very much so. And, and, and then we buy a lot of it. I think that's a less risky process. But of course, it's not for everybody. Okay. And what's the average holding period of stocks? Yeah, uh, holding period is, is a function, actually, of how quickly our fund uh, or stocks get or positions get re-rated. And we are very long term. We do not try to time these issues. We try to price these issues. Okay. So uh, on average, our holding period is uh, or has been historically about three years. But it varies. If, if we're more successful quicker, of course, we would like to, uh, to, to, to get paid as, as quickly as possible. But many people try to chase uh, very quick developments or earnings reports and so on. We do not do that. If we follow the news today, we see a lot of uh, news about Greece uh, every day in uh, big letters. Do you think that could create buying opportunities? Any movement where you have movement in stock prices could be an opportunity, especially downwards. Now, remember, company values, companies in, in most cases uh, that are not high-flying uh, you know, new development companies, uh, do they, they, they changed in value very, very slowly, actually, very slowly. Uh, and they, it's the stock price that moves a lot. So it's that difference that we're trying to capture. So anytime there's movement, every time there's a crisis area, it's a natural uh, area for us to, to, again, try to identify if something has been uh, what they call shot by association.